welcome to our channel my name is nikita from bisp solution in today's video we are going to discuss about what are the absence plans and the types of absence plan so absence plan basically determines the rules for defining eligibility accruing leave time and receiving payments during the absence period these are the absence plan first is accrual plan it calculates time earned by an employee on a periodic basis including maximum amount of accrued time and maximum amount of that can be carried forward to the next term and second is a qualification in this plan employees entitlement to time off isn't earned on a periodic basis but is granted to them commonly used for maternity jury duty military and so on third one is a no entitlement plan that plan has neither accrual nor entitlement defined commonly used to track the unpaid absences next is a agreement it is basically a plan in which time agreed upon between the employer and employee in accordance to with the statutory rules next is the compensatory plan a plan uh, a variation of an accrual plan where uh, units work from the basis of the accrual you can offer this type of plan can be for work outside of a regular schedule instead of paying overtime okay and uh, the last is a donation Uh, last is donation this type of absence plan track donated time that a worker receive worker can donate their accrual plan balance to a co worker who needs additional time off and is eligible to receive the donated time so these are the absence plan let's move on to the application where we see the examples of these accrual uh, these absence plan under the my client group click on the show more option here find the absences then click on the absence plan so when you create the new plan it give you choice to select the plan select the absence plan according to your preferences like if you want to create accrual you select accrual and otherwise agreement compulsory donation no entitlement and qualification whatever your requirement is you can create according to that here i'm not going to create new absence plan i'm just going to explain you under the existing plan let's select the accrual plan first so we we already create the accrual plan you can for this you can refer my previous video so we create this so there is a five steps or these are the additional steps so these are not mandatory these four steps are mandatory so under the plan attribute you define the general attributes the plan term and the ban balance display option next is the part participation under that you can define the enrollment rules and uh, when you want to enroll the employee to this absence plan and the balance disposition rule and the transfer rule the eligibility the next is the accruals under that you can define the accrual attribute the plan limit year end processing the accrual matrix you can add here and last is the entries and balances you can define the adjustment and transfer disbursement discretionary disbursement donations rates and payroll integration so this is the accrual plan now let's move on to the next plan which is agreement so there is a no agreement plan okay 
let's move on to the compensatory let's see if it's available or not okay so there is a compensatory plan let's select one of them here also you have to define the four steps just like the accurate plans the general attributes okay the enrollment rule the balance disposition the eligibility here is change uh, in the place of accrual you have to define the plan rule here the string rules and the plan limit and the entries and balances manual adjustment and the balance update discretionary disbursement payroll integration rates okay let's move on to the next plan which is donation let's see if it's available or not here okay so it's available Here you have to define the general attributes, the name of the plan, the unit of, and the unit of measure, the plan rules, the entries and the balances. Okay. Process is the same for all the absence plan, just to some task are change here. Okay. Next ones are no entitlement. Here, select this. So here you have three tasks to define the plan attribute, the participation and the entries and balances. Okay. The last is the qualification plan. Here. Here you have to define also the four. The change is the only the entitlement part. The plan attribute participation and element entry balance same as the other one. Okay, so let's cancel it. Under the creation option, if you select the agreement, we can find what are the steps we have to fill under the agreement plan time. So here also we have to fill three tasks, the plan attribute, entitlement, and the entries and balances. Okay, you can give the name and also under the entitlement, you provide the information and, element and entries and balances also. Okay, so this is all about the absence plan. I already created the accrual absence plan if you want to the specific detail you can refer this uh, that video oh thank you so much for watching the video